Okay, this week on the final reel, I was going to talk about the recent nominations released from the Golden Globes and the Screen Actors Guild Awards. However, this past week, a friend of mine was tragically killed in a car accident on Highway 6 near my hometown of Hamilton, Ontario. His name was David Powell, and he was only 22 years old. The thing I loved the most about Dave was his spirit and energy. The guy just never wanted to sit down and do nothing. He always wanted to do something, and that's something I greatly admired about him. He was a spirit that just wanted to get out there, that just wanted to be in the world, and that's what I admired the most about him. His impact on me was the fact that he never wasted a single second, that he was always a good friend, and he always went out of his way to make sure that I knew I was friends with him. He was like that with everybody. He was respected, adored, and loved by many, including his family, his mother, his father, his two brothers and two sisters. I pray, I pray at this time for them heavily that they can deal with this loss, especially this time of year. I ask that most of you watching this video now, or all of you, to please keep the Powell family in your prayers. This is a rough time for them. However, the celebration of life coming this Saturday is going to be something special. But also another thing too is that Dave, in 22 years, did more than most people can even think of to do in a lifetime with his life. He made the most of his short time on this earth, and that I am thankful for. I am also glad that I got to know him in these last two and a half years. I was looking forward to hanging out with him again soon over the holidays. Sadly, that never came. But I wanted, but the thing I can always take with me is the fact that all those things that he taught me, whether he was trying to or not, he never, he's never trying to teach anybody anything. He never made any, you know, made condescending points. He was never like that. There was just not a mean condescending nasty bone in this guy's body and that's what I respect the most about him and I'm gonna miss him greatly but I will always remember the things I learned from him and I will use them in my own life so David Powell thank you and I, and I will cherish your memory of friendship for years to come that's it for this week's edition of Bill Chasing the Movies and now we're getting closer to Oscar season of course as I mentioned before and let me tell you something with the Golden Globe nominees and the Screen Actors Guild nominees released. There's uh, some questionability of how the Oscars are going to go. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to what the next few weeks have to offer in terms of hype. But next week I'll be back with more films, including the highly anticipated James Cameron-directed Avatar. And this is good. it's almost opening 12 years to the day that Titanic opened, so we shall see how James Cameron's latest epic does. We also have the romantic comedy Did You Hear About the Morgans with Hugh Grant and Sarah Jessica Parker. The highly anticipated Nine, starring Daniel Day-Lewis. The Young Victoria, starring Emily Blunt. Crazy Heart, starring Jeff Bridges. And The Lovely Bones, starring Mark Wahlberg, Rachel Weisz, and Stanley Tucci. A lot of those, and some of those films are generating some Oscar buzz. I'm guessing you get that which one isn't. <laughs> but either way, I'm looking forward to this, uh, this time of year. That's it for this week's edition of Bill Chase in the Movies. And I am Bill Chase. And until next time, I will be at the movies. Goodbye, everybody.